Hi everyone. Today we're going to be doing a review for uh, Ryan Coogler's new Rocky sequel, uh, Creed. So, let's get right into it. All right. Who, who, who's the director? Who's Ryan Coogler? Ryan Coogler is um, he got a, he he he's been around. He's been around a while. I mean, he he he. I guess he got a lot of practical experience in in, in building a story when he he, he worked on the wire. He, and um, you can tell it's funny because when you watch this movie, there are a lot of casting calls that are that parallel the wire. A lot, of, you know, I mean, like a lot of people. Avon Barksdale's in the movie. He's got a small part, but he's in there. Um, anyway, so uh, Kugler worked on. He, he made, I think he made his major his major debut last year. He did Fruitvale Station, which uh, which is killer. So and the guy's got real chops. You know, the guy's got real talent. Obviously, Rocky Bal Rocky, <laughs> obviously Sylvester Stallone. And the the producers had a lot of faith in him because I mean they gave him they gave him the Rocky sequel. So um, all right, what 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 would we like about it? Uh, it's uh, it's the story of Adonis Creed. Adonis Creed is the illegitimate son of Apollo Creed, the uh, character played by Carl Weathers throughout the original series, and he he's spent the majority of his early childhood years in. The system. He's gone into detention facilities. He he likes to fight. He's a big fight. He fights all the time. You know, he's his father's son, and he gets picked up. He gets spirited away by by Apollo's ex-wife, and she brings him to Hollywood or to California, wherever, and, and and raises him up there as this sort of prince. But he wants to. He doesn't want to live in the shadow of his father's name, so he goes to Mexico and he gets into these you know, underground boxing matches and, and all this thing. But he kind of outpaces a lot of the people that he's fighting with. Um, and so what he does is he goes to Sylvester Stallone, he goes to, to Rocky Balboa, and he asks him to train him. And so the, the story's got that dynamic going for it. It's got, you know, it's got the old and it's got the new. And it, it's, it pays homage to, 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 to the original Rocky. I mean, the boxing sequences are awesome. They've got, I mean, it, it maintains the Rocky Balboa realistic feel. You know, the much more grand scale realistic boxing match feel that they established in the last Rocky movie. But then it's still got all those great slow motion, you know, blood shooting out of people's faces, you know, fists crunching into skulls and, and, and all that stuff from the original movie. So it it really is this great amalgam of old and new. And it's not the first boxing movie to come out this year. Jake Gyllenhaal had a, a boxing movie called Southpaw that came out this year. And I think this is just like, <laughs> I think it stomps on Southpaw in just about every conceivable way. Um... There are hints throughout the movie of Bill Conti's originally, I mean, epic, you know, a Rocky score. But at the same time, it maintains its it, it, its own music. It, it only hints towards that, but at the same time, it, it is its own thing. It's it's new, and it's a beast of a movie. It's 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 over two hours. I mean, it's long. It's it's ponderous. There's 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 just so much stuff going on. But at no point does it feel boring. It's always interesting. And um, Michael B. Jordan does a great job with the character. I mean, giving you know great depth. I mean, there there are I mean there are some cliches, but I mean for the most part, it it really does. It, I mean, break new ground for the series, and and the the future looks promising. So, um, my grade for Creed is I give it an A minus. I think it is, uh, if not the greatest sequel to the original Rocky, it's it's up there. It really is, and. Um, Anyway, I'd say go see it. Absolutely, go see it. That's um, that's my review, and we'll we'll see you next time. Okay.